What is in the box? Because it's a big box. But what is in the box? Well, we should only find out. But first, if you want to know all about van life, van builds, stuff like that, you're parked in the right place. Subscribe. Just say there. Hit the bell notification so you can keep up to date with all the videos. Heat. That's what's in the box. Heat. Let's have a look. Also, this was sent to me as a gift from Christina Smallhorn, who is the real estate whisperer out in Louisiana. Thank you very much. One fuel tank. We're gonna run out of space here. One box of bits. One fuel pump. One controller unit. And one diesel nice heater. Let's get rid of all the shite. Okay, so this is all the stuff we need. We've got screws, we've got brackets. It's actually not that hard of a job to do. We've got everything we need to do here. Now, this is important. You need to listen, right? This is very important. I'm going to put a big important sign there. See? This is important. Most of the horror stories you see on television and news are the results of oxygen deprivation. But what's ox oh, but what is oxygen? Can't even fucking say. But what is oxygen deprivation compared to carbon monoxide poisoning? Well, oxygen deprivation is basically your heater is blowing out hot air. Okay. One of the important things with these heaters is make sure you are pulling air from the outside. You're pulling fresh air in to get warm air out. Oxygen deprivation comes when the unit is pulling the same air in as it's pumping out. And it starts burning up the oxygen. Carbon monoxide poison is a buildup of gases. So exhaust gases and exhaust fumes. But oxygen deprivation causes more problems than anything so when you are ventilating this don't just put it under the bed and close the bed and go oh it's got a big gap under the bed i'll be fine it's got that whole big area to put no make sure it's got a vent to go outside make sure it can pull air from the back of the unit straight through to the front because this is where the heat's coming out and that is where the oxygen is going in. So make sure the unit itself can pull enough oxygen, fresh air, fresh oxygen from outside the van to give this heat the best source and to keep you safe. And another thing, you gotta cut down on 99% of your condensation in the van because you're pulling in fresh air because the fresh air is coming into the unit and it's pumping out warm dry air the dry heat will solve the problem of all the moisture in the van and you won't get damp you won't get condensation make sure you have enough ventilation okay so there's going to be enough room down this side of the bed once you take all this stuff out move everything out the way the heat is going to sit there so the fuel tank is going to sit in this cupboard here it's going to sit at the very back the fuel pipe is going to go down through the van underneath and come up the air inlet for the actual unit itself to pull the oxygen in is going in there there used to be a fridge there there'll be a video on that but look inside the cupboard i've purposely left that big vent out which was at the back of the fridge so the air inlet can come in here and it can suck oxygen from this co this cupboard here there's enough air going to be getting dragged through for it to go through the system 
down to the night heater which will sit down there and put the heat out which will be there. Let's cue some fancy music and let's get the thing installed. Let's get cracking. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down, so. We better stick together, let's come whatever when I come. Got the hole screwed in the floor. Which is there. The reason I've made this big hole here is because this is an exhaust pipe. This gets really hot. You do not want this exhaust pipe touching any of the woods, any of the under ceilings, or anything to do with the van at all. Now, this plate attaches to the bottom of the unit. This piece of black pipe is to connect up your fuel line. So all this is going to go through the hole and then this gets screwed down. I'm going to put the fuel line on this end and then poke it through the, back of the, bo the bottom of the van so I can then feed it under and tidy it all up and then bring it through the back which is where we're going to go So that's your unit screwed down. Now we just gotta do is wire it up, tidy up underneath, connect the fuel pump, connect the fuel tank, and off we go. Right, we decided to go for a different tank. Here's a mess. This way we can get the fuel filter, the fuel pump, and then it goes through the floor and to the actual unit itself. And we can keep it all in that cupboard, all on the floor, all at the back. So this isn't gonna move. It's a bit of a nicer design, you know, it's, it's um, Yves Saint Laurent or Vivian Westwood. Um, so we've gone for this, this type and then everything is in line. So if ever we need to get to it, this is going to be strapped in and we've got access to the whole thing. There's no good hiding shit under stuff or putting things in places that are going to be in the way. Um, I wasn't happy with the great big tank going in. Also, I've hidden my fuel pump and my fuel filter underneath there. The reason I've done that is because I don't want any of the cables and any of the wires and any of the connections getting disturbed or anything like that. The T4 is only a small van, so if you can make the most of the space while you've got it by doing something like that, I just made a false floor which sits on top of all the important bits, which is there. So now, 
I can still get a little bit of storage under there. There's another piece to go on top of there, which will sit in that place to cover that bit. And it just means that everything's out the way. Everything's not within reach of getting knocked or banged. Yeah, I've gone for a smaller tank, but that tank there will do for about 12 hours of heat. Do you really need more when you're going out and about and doing things? No, you probably don't. If you're living in a van, yeah, you'll need a bigger tank. But that, for me, does perfect. Now, I've done something that most people probably won't do. Which is, I've actually connected mine, my unit, up to a switch. Because I don't need it to be on all the time. So, turn the switch on. So this would normally be your time on the display. That's your display there. Now, when you first get the unit, you're gonna press OK and then down together. And you get H off. Now, what H off means, if you press the up button, it will go to on. That will then purge the system and it will bring all the air out of the system and it's fine. But I've done that, so. We can just go back to the normal clock. Now, to start the unit up, it's really simple. It's 13 degrees now. I've got it set at 30, which is a bit warm. There's 12.1 volts in the battery, which is fine. There's no error codes. So just from the unit being on itself, let's turn it off. Because the good thing about the way I've done it, which I like is that clock tells me how long it's been running. So you simply press the on button. Now, there's a few things that are gonna go on when you press the on button. Right, so when you do your very first startup of the system, you've done your purge, you've done the H on, it's brought out all the air. This is the amount of smoke on the very first startup of the system. This only happens the first time you start the unit because it's burning off the excess fuel that's left in the tank and the glow plug after you've done the purge of the air. This is normal, don't worry, don't freak out, it's fine. One, you're gonna see the fans moving. Two, you're going to see air coming in and you're going to see air going out. The glow plug, which is there, has started. It's starting to heat up. Now, I've got my air vent just there. And another reason why I done the big pipe on it that goes through into this cupboard and then comes through to this cupboard is because that cupboard there is vented to the outside world. So that is going to be able to pull enough fresh air in to feed this unit, pumping out air, stopping any oxygen deprivation. It's going on a bit, isn't it? Sorry. So. I'm going to come back in a minute when this is all kicked off and this is all running fine. Okay, so now on the unit we have this popped up, which is your fuel pump. Now, you might be able to hear it. Tapping in the back. Okay, so that's your fuel pump. That's where you can find, your fans are where you can find, the glow plug's heated up, it's been going for a minute. We're on one bar of heat, which is next to nothing at the minute. It's not really doing anything, as you can tell. We'll just move the microphone down to where the heat source is. And you can see it's not really putting out that much heat. Everything's been going good for now. It's on two minutes, so we'll come back in a minute when it's fired up and it's all going. Are these heaters worth buying? Well, mine was personally a gift of this channel. Your real estate whisperer. But yes, 100%. These things put out so much heat. Do you need to be a bit of a DIYer, a bit of an enthusiast to actually fit one of these things? Yes, I would say you, you, you do. You're messing with diesel, you're messing with electricity, 
Yes, it's all plug and play. It's all self-explanatory. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. There's plenty of information out there to actually watch people doing these things. Ultimately, I'd say 99% of people can do it. There is gonna be that odd one person who was just that stupid that shouldn't really be driving. Is that you? It is, okay. Well, nothing we can do, is there? So, it's an easy job. It's quite simple. Just take your time, put it in yourself. Now, if you found this video interesting, leave us some comments, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and don't forget, share this out to someone. If somebody is thinking to put one of these heaters in the van, then direct them to me. If you want to ask me some questions, direct them to me. I will help them as much as I possibly can. And until the next video, I will see you soon.